Half the world's population lives in a rural setting, yet these communities consume more energy and emit more carbon per capita than their urban counterparts. A city is only as strong as the countryside that provides its resources, so rural architecture must not only conserve, but reconstruct its environment. Textile House is the first solar-powered passive house built with high-performance textiles, a net-zero structure that sparks regional regeneration by weaving brand new materials, building techniques, and energy systems into a comfortable, self-sustaining home that produces more energy than it consumes. The open floor plan is surrounded by a steel frame built to withstand the high-tensioned forces on the external Teflon-coated fiberglass membrane, whose reinforced engineered properties provide a sturdy shell able to withstand hurricane winds of over 130 miles per hour. All electrical needs are fulfilled with flexible solar cells embedded in the textile roof, an angle to match the position of the sun. But Textile House doesn't require as much electricity as conventional homes in the first place, because the design takes advantage of environmental conditions to make its inhabitants comfortable, rather than relying on mechanical systems. The house regulates the flow of energy between the interior and exterior according to the International Passive House Energy Standard, using a heavy layer of insulation to capture ambient energy already within its system from sun rays, appliances, and the inhabitant's body heat, and repurposing it to fulfill its space heating and cooling needs. Fresh air enters the house through a ventilation system in the core, passing by exhausted air leaving the house from the same location and recovering up to 98% of the heat leaving the system through simple proximity. Similarly, solar thermal is used to heat the house's water and runs separately from the heat pump, which in turn supports the house's space heating only when it cannot regulate itself. This means that the system can handle dual functions like turning on the air conditioning on a hot day while cleaning clothes in the washing machine with as little actual electrical generation as possible. Passive practices cut space heating and cooling costs by 90%, which is in turn 50% of the energy demands faced by conventional homes. It's only after the first half of the energy demand has been attended to through passive techniques that active mechanical systems are even employed to take care of the inhabitants' daily needs. The materials and mechanics of this house give it the tools to maintain homeostasis. The textiles act as a highly advanced, semi-permeable skin, allowing Textile House to breathe like a living organism. This membrane is engineered to manage its own risk of mold and rot by inhaling unwanted moisture into the interior's dehumidifier without compromising the structure's airtight energy profile. The mechanical core and furniture contain phase change materials to combat unwanted temperature shifts. When unwanted heat enters the house, the solid or frozen material absorbs the energy and stores it in liquid form, then releases its stored heat by freezing when the temperature drops. Sensors embedded throughout the interior record the house's stats in real time, accommodating whatever environmental shifts the house cannot manage on its own, with considered adjustments to the mechanical systems. With the help of these sensors, the house can tailor its performance to whether its inhabitants are home or not. Textile House pioneers new construction techniques to ensure the economic and ultra-fast deployment of materials. Woven ratchet straps create a flexible net to contain insulation attached to the steel frame, simultaneously following the doubly curved enclosure membrane, while maintaining an even distribution between the two layers. This design easily accommodates any configuration of space and eases the addition and reduction of further insulation in a future with extreme climate predictions. The interior textiles are fireproof and manufactured on an extremely efficient flatbed knitting machine, taking advantage of customizable knit stitching to tailor the fabric panels to the house's exact dimension to optimize the materials for tensile architecture. The steel frame, textile skin, insulation strapping, and modular floor pallets result in a livable, comfortable structure that can be assembled from scratch in a matter of days. Meanwhile, four gardens around the house exterior are linked to the core through a chemical-free filter box, encouraging inhabitants to harvest edibles and grow flowers with rain and recycled grey water from the shower and dishwasher. The grey water gardens are populated with plants which are resistant to pH fluctuation and will serve as a second natural purification system for runoff. Textile House is one cell of a self-sustaining rural settlement that pools surplus resources between each structure. By teaching how the allocation of resources can be managed within a single unit, Textile House provides a model for how entire regions can achieve homeostasis. The prototype in this video will house students, artists, and designers from all over the world on the grounds of the Domaine de Boisboucher in Lissac, France, educating visitors in both the workshop and the home. 
the legacy of Textile House extends far beyond its physical location. The house asks its inhabitants to reimagine their thinking, to see the lessons of sustainable living as an integrated system woven into each level of daily life. At its core, Textile House is a proposition for sustainable architecture that is not just a house or a settlement, but a teacher.